Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Cora Stan Salt. Yeah, the shippers are pissed. Shippers are pissed. They announced a new Avatar animated series. It's supposed to follow Cora, which I don't understand how that's going to work given the end of Cora, but they're going to make it work anyway. The shippers are angry because we're forgetting all about her, we're stepping oh, over her. They're stepping over her. Not, not my, not my avatar. I'm just like, pfft, okay, moving yeah. on. Moving <laughs> on. Everyone so, else is moving on. It's like a dog kicking dirt, you know. Yeah. So we're gonna. We're going to talk about that. Before you into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news. Views and Rants guys, uh, over 283, almost 284,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we have talked about Avatar, you know, somewhat. We talked about the uh, culture around Korra stands. We've talked about the ill-conceived Netflix live action show, which was so bad that the original uh, showrunners, the creators of Avatar, uh, noped out of it. Yeah, now they have that live action, but the creators went and got a whole other Avatar verse. Yeah, they have a whole, over here. whole studio. They have mm -hmm. Avatar, I think it's Avatar Studios, and they're going to make a whole bunch of new Avatar stuff, hopefully better than Korra. I didn't like Korra. I thought Korra was, I thought it was beautifully well, animated. Just, it was beautiful. Yeah. She was a whiny bitch and I couldn't stand she her. She was a whiny bitch and I couldn't stand her. Yeah, I, I noped out after the first season. And it's so weird because, you know, we've talked about this before. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender was one of our family's favorite mm -hmm. shows. We were very excited about Korra. We were very excited about Korra. And, you know, a couple episodes into it, we're like, okay, they ever going to leave the city? Uh, what? Not what? just that. She's just annoying. She's and... annoying. Does she ever get better? Well, not just getting better. Just, you know, does she ever Palatable? get more of a personality? I mean, yeah. just, Other yeah. than just being a away. bitch? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Strong female characters. That was around the time where to be a strong female character, you're just a, a bitchy Angry. dude. Angry. You were yeah, angry you're all angry because this means you're strong. Yeah. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna talk about uh, all of this. Uh, yeah. So I noped out. Yeah. Again, first season. I guess people said it got better ish. <laughs> okay. Um, but I never gave it another. Even chance. if it did, I would have tuned out anyway, just because the way the shippers are behaving. Yeah. Yeah. So this is um, the sequel. Is gonna be set in the Avatar's worlds equivalent to our world's present day. So basically, what they're wait, wait, wait. So is this what they wanted to do with the live action show? I don't know. Um, the news has caused a wave of anticipation and buzz from Avatar fans with one Twitter user saying dreams do come true. Another comment with a fan edited video where Toph asks, you really think friendships can last more than one lifetime? And they have different avatars. So yeah, that makes sense because originally it was kind of like what, like um, 17, 1800s. And then we kind of went to like the 1920s, I think for Korra. And now we're going to do modern. modern I just day. think it's interesting that, okay, they were the ones that were going to do the show with Netflix. Netflix yes. was going in a completely different direction they didn't like, yes. but was making a modern show. So I wonder if this is what they wanted to do, but now they're just going to do an animated version. Yes. And it's coming out pretty soon. It's coming out in 2025. Um, so they don't know too much about it, really. It's just that it's a 2025 launch. Avatar News reports an animated movie featuring this new Earth Avatar in their era is coming to theaters in the years after the show comes out. So they're going to do movies about it. Yes. Well, the hopefully hopefully it's a good character because if not, it's going to be a very short, uh, mm -hmm. uh, short. Uh, I hope it's more Ang and less Korra. More Ang and less Korra, yeah. While the Avatar-centric news outlet has no specific information regarding the film's release window, it does claim it won't be insa an insanely long wait. Uh, yeah, we don't know much about it. This this character is this the character. I'm is assuming. Just a, a guess. I don't know. Uh, breaking. It's happening in original animated series following the next Earth Avatar in the cycle after Aang and Korra. It's coming in 2025. I have questions because, as I understand it, the ending of The uh, Legend of Korra closed the door on. Yes, yeah, not only did they ruin the show to begin with, and they made sure that they they thought they were making sure you couldn't make any other ones. Yeah, so and apparently they changed their mind, and they're going back on that now. <laughs> yeah, so let's look at some of the uh, reactions to to the announcement, and then we're going to talk well, about. Well, the shippers are lose are, are very upset. Most everybody else is happy. The shippers are pissed. Cora is dead. New Avatar. We won, but the cost of having to see Cora die. Yeah, I don't see a downside. Uh, I don't see a downside. Yeah. <laughs> Can we so, get a black avatar, please? Well, the avatar from that picture, that's the avatar looks kind of darker skin. Yeah. I'm just putting yeah. that out. All right. So let's um let's talk about this here. What is going on? New avatar, Korra dies. Again, where's the downside? Where's the downside? Me realizing Korra has to die for a sequel series. Yeah, that was kind of a bummer. Like it was kind of like Prancer 2. 
Cora, like it starts out with, you know, Aang had his time and now he's effing dead. I know. I was like, I was like upset about that, but it makes sense because you have to, you know, pass it on. But still. Pass it on. But, you know, but they're upset because they're like, well, she's always my avatar. New story, but Cora dead. Yeah, Cora, Cora is dead to uh, most most uh, audiences, I think, at this point. They don't really talk much about it. It's just kind of like, yeah, remember that Avatar sequel? Yeah, that was a thing. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like it. Yeah, moving on. Cora dead. That means I'm going to die, too. That's my, my twin. twin. If she's dead, I can't be alive either. So here comes the shippers. Cora's not dead. Cora will never die. Cora will live forever. You will never take Cora down. Cora will pull through. Cora is... Core fans are devastated. Other fans are a bit more extreme with one jokingly tweeting, Core yeah, dead. Yeah, we read, yeah. That means I'm going to die. Core will not die. Why? Because I said so. The person with the Cora. Yeah, Cora avatar. Cora is and always will be my avatar. The avatar. She will never die. Neither will Asami. Oh, yeah. We have to get the Asami in there and all this shit because it's the shippers. Shippers are solid because they're going to make more avatar without Cora. Well, get, now you know what everybody else felt like without Aang. So, so what if, what if this new male avatar, if that's who it is, gets with Asami when she's old and she's like, no, that can't happen. That's hate speech. <laughs> like she's like a gilf, right? Gilf. <laughs> no. The legend of gilf. That, no. See, now you're just being, you're he's going to straighten, he's going to straighten her out. He's you're, gonna, you're just being disrespectful. <laughs> he's going to egg bend her. I That's, forgot about egg bending. Yeah, he's gonna do some egg bending. That's an her. old. That was like one of our old videos, like one of the early videos. Yeah, it egg was, bending. Yeah, I her, forget. That was egg bending. Yes. Well, she's gonna be so old at that point that her eggs are gonna be a little dusty. So I don't know. I'm just. I'm just scrambled. I'm just. This the, the the salt is just funny to me because when okay we'll go back to the Shira thing when Shira fans were upset about what they were doing to the new show. It was like kind of like She-Ra name only, but they were changing other characters for no damn good reason and everything else. And we didn't like the way things looked or whatever. Got so much hate and, you know, people said we're saying things we weren't saying and it was just this big nightmare where you're harassed. Now that they're losing their, their core thing, which they didn't lose it, like they would tell us, you can go watch it. No one's stopping you from watching the old one, but there's going to be a new one for new generations, for the new people. And you're, just gonna, people. and you're just going to have to understand that. So core is gone. Too effing bad. It's for the new generation, for the new ones. Long live Avatar Chad. Avatar Chad. The legend of Chad. Legend of Chad. Yeah, he egg bends all over the world. <laughs> um, he's the father of many. He's the father of many. I don't know what that has to do with anything. but uh, if There's no Korsami children. Oh, they're choking, choking. Dreams come true. A dream come true. Oh, wow. So series has to take place in their version of the modern day world. Can't wait for this. Um... Yeah, so there's going to be all kinds of Avatar stuff coming up. I, Next Avatar finding out they only got Korra for advice. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably like, why won't this one shut up? Yeah, so uh, does anybody have, have bets on how she's going to die? I don't know, probably old age. And they'll make sure you know that her and Asami adopted 20, 20 kids. Well, she gets murdered and then the other guy has to find his own well, murder. It weird. can't be because... That'd be hate. I mean, that would actually be a really interesting show. That would be a very interesting but show. But they can't do that because it's like it's like years later. So she obviously made it to when she was old before, you know, a new Avatar came. They can't kill Korra already. I'm destroyed. It's been over already? for years. It's been like 10 years. It's been like 10 years. It's like nine or something like that. It'd be oh, nine years. It's been over. I'm like, really? Give us a buff gay Earth Nation boy. Uh, yeah, so that's, my money is on they're going to push some kind of representation in there. That's my money. I, I'm sure they will. Um, because we can't just, you know, <laughs> Aang and Katara is coming in 2025. <laughs> yeah, actually, I would like to. Aren't they doing a, I thought they were doing a movie where uh, Aang and Katara were well, they had the book um, series, they did, they were actually really good. Mm -hmm. The Jin Yang books from Dark Horse, if you guys haven't checked them out, they're actually very, very good. Uh, they did consult with the showrunners, and it is, I guess, canon. But uh, yeah, we're going to see a lot of salt. We're going to see a lot. And this is the same thing that's going to happen if Amazon, if, if Amazon pushes forward with the She-Ra live action reboot, you're going to see a lot of this stuff mm -hmm. from uh, stands. I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering, like, why, why are you still here? Why are you still on Twitter? Don't you know that Twitter is the platform of hate? Twitter is the platform of the alt-right. Why are you still using Twitter? Y'all just want to show exactly like The Last Airbender with the exact same characters of different names. Y'all hate Techie World. Y'all hate new characters. Y'all hate new stories. Basically, I'm pissed because you don't like Korra. 
Face it, you're all pathetic with nostalgia bias. Nostalgia bias? Except the people who are pissed that it's not Cora. Somebody's jelly. Who hurt you? No, I think it's I think it's it's funny if it's good. Uh, meanwhile, you can get your proper avatar fix from the Dragon Prince. Yeah, pretty much. Which has has a lot of the same vibe and is infinitely better than Cora. There I said it, and I'm not sorry. Cora is an unlike. I don't. Bitch. I don't like Cora. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Nobody but, liked Cora. That's why I mean, it didn't last very long. I'm, I'm down to try a new avatar. I mean, I know it's not going to be Aang. I know it's not going to be Cora. It'd be somebody new, and that's fine. I'm actually, you know, interested to see it. I'm not really sure how it's going to work in modern day, but, you know. They better have mechs. It's modern day. They're not going to have mechs. This isn't the future. No, it's... You see, they build Gundams in Japan. There's like giant, actual, like freaking Gundams. They don't do much. They, they kind of stand they up. They jiggle, that's but that's a start. They start jiggling today, and and they're kicking ass in 20 years from now. That's right. I'm jiggling now, but what, wait till next year, and I'll be kicking ass. I'm drinking milk, and someday I'm going to kick oh, your God, ass. I forgot the milk commercials. So, is it worth watching the Korra series? No, it really isn't. I loved Ang and stuff. I didn't watch Korra until now because I don't want to. I don't want to be let down. Then don't watch Korra. Don't watch Korra. There you go. <laughs> right, we're gonna wrap this yes. up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.